Jamal Charlo wins a 12-round unanimous decision over Austin Trout to retain his IBF light middleweight world title. Now, this was actually a pretty good fight. When you get technical fighters in there, like an Austin Trout, who's also a southpaw, you don't always expect the best of fights because he's a slick guy, he's relatively defensive and what have you, so you're not always expecting fireworks. But Austin Trout really put it all on the line in this fight. He really showed heart, determination, and very good skills. Early in the fight, I thought that Charlo was getting the better of it. He was catching Austin Trout. He maybe buzzed him a few times. Never really seriously hurt him, in my opinion, but buzzed him a few times and seemed to be the stronger. I mean, Austin Trout is a big, light middleweight, but he was dwarfed by Jamal Charlo. Charlo was huge in there next to Austin Trout. <laughs> At times, it was looking like two fighters from two different weight divisions. And I think that extra physical strength and that you know, physicality was more of a factor early in the fight for Jamal Charlo. As the fight wore on, particularly as he got into the second half, I think Austin Trout's superior counter-punching skills came into play. And particularly the, the last three or four rounds, Trout was looking very impressive. In fact, even though Austin Trout lost this fight on the scorecards, okay, according to the judges, I think this was actually one of Austin Trout's most impressive performances for me. I thought he boxed very well, very good counter-punching. And again, like I say, it wasn't a purely defensive display by Austin Trout. He was doing a lot of counter-punching, but he, he was aggressive with that counter-punching. He was throwing a lot of counters and, you know, he, he was doing his thing. But the judges unanimously gave it to Jamal Charlo. Uh, the scores were... 116-112, 115-113, and 116-112. There was some booing when he when the score scores were read out. And I can understand why. I think the fight was closer than that. And it, it was look, it was one of those kind of fights where there was a lot of close rounds. And when there's so many close rounds, so many competitive rounds, you can have people with Vastly different scorecards who watch the exact same fight, who are trying to judge it objectively, but they've got vastly different scores. So I understand that. But for all the judges to have it comfortable for Charlo, that don't quite sit well with me. I think at least one of the judges should, should have had it a draw or maybe one of them have it for Trout. If it was like that, I could have accepted it a bit more. But I, I, I personally think 116-112 is way too wide. But that's just my personal view. So let me know what you think about the scores, what you thought about the performances. Uh, this, this is not the first time that Austin Trout has been on the, uh, the bad end of, I don't want to say a controversial decision, but at least a close decision, you know, a close fight. Uh, the bad end of, of a decision in a very close fight. He hasn't got the benefit of the doubt, but... You know, he's, he's had his victories as well. He was world champion. He got a, a victory over Miguel Cotto. They didn't rub him in that fight. So it is what it is. Let me know what you thought about the performances, people. Let me know what you think about Jamal Charlo. How good is he? Who can he beat? Who can beat him? And I, I spoke about this in the post-fight video for his brother's fight against John Jackson. There's not really that many options in terms of unifications because the Charlo brothers and Eris Landilara, who's the other champion at the weight, one of the other champions at the weight, are all trained by Ronnie Shields and they all seem to be tight. Uh, I don't know how realistic it is for them to be fighting. Now, don't get it twisted. I hope they fight. I, I want to see Lara. I want to see a unified champion. So I'm not here making excuses, certainly not for them not fighting Lara, not at all. I want to see them fight Lara. But how realistic is it when you've got, when these guys are all friends and they've all got the same trainer? You know, they do spar on a regular basis, so it's not like they've never hit each other. They do do that. <laughs> but having the same trainer might be an obstacle there. So it looks like Liam Smith is the only, and obviously the Charlo brothers ain't going to fight each other, so Liam Smith is probably the only uh, potential unification for any of them guys. Let me know how you feel, people. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.